Let's talk to David Paul. He is from Vectorvest. Very good morning to you, young David. Good morning, Miss. Right, so your first slide, the headline, the bull market is mature but intact. Lots of people have said we're in the ninth innings, um, and that's always when things get a bit lively. Or historically, they've certainly got a bit lively in the ninth, but is it really intact? I think so, yes. I think uh, certainly uh, the US market... Uh, based on our fundamental model and my technical model, yep. still looks as if there's a, a last kick in it. The market is certainly mature. It's been running, as we all know, since the 9th uh, of uh, March uh, 2009, which is what the guts of 10 years. Uh, but uh, I, I still think it's got a, another leg up. Uh, certainly both the UK market and the American market facing fairly stiff resistance. Wouldn't it at all surprise me to see uh, the market go sideways uh, and uh, until August is over and uh, a break upwards after Labor Day? Understood. OK, let's talk about market timing. Let's move on to your first main slide. Um, are you on a buy signal short term and long term? Yes. Uh, in the UK market, uh, uh, the short term trend is up, the longer term trend is up, uh, and uh, we're approaching uh, that major resistance level on the chart for the fourth time. And I'm always optimistic when I see a chart uh, hitting a high for the fourth time. My, one of my old mentors, a guy called Gann, William Gann, always used to say that markets break on the fourth attempt. Yep. Uh, so I'm reasonably optimistic, but as I say, could easily pull back, go sideways in a fairly miserable fashion during the course of August. Understood. In terms of the US mate, a market timing, um, you've got two slides here. The first one, what does that say? Well, the first one's a, 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 a daily chart over the last year. And uh, our longer term trend, uh, what we call on Vector Vesa confirmed up, is along of the market. The short term trend is up as well. Uh, there is resistance on the chart at what Fibonacci people call a 78% retracement. And that's held the market uh, for three times now. And we're pushing up through that. Yesterday, uh, we actually got through that level. Whether that's sustainable, we shall see. Uh, again, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see it pulling back over August. OK, so that second slide we've got on the USA market timing, what is that telling us? Well, that's a long-term weekly chart over three years. Right. Uh, and uh, I've drawn in on the chart the uh, support line. Uh, and uh, that support line, uh, sits about the same place as a 200-day moving average. Uh, the market has just broken upwards out of a uh, pretty textbook five-wave uh, symmetrical triangle. But the thing uh, that really excites me on that chart is the divergence between the uh, price and the MACD. That's a type of divergence known as reverse divergence. And some technicians call it a slingshot. And it has a very high probability of preceding a big move. And in terms of fundamentals, the uh, founder of VectorVest, Dr. Bartolito, has put together a fundamental model, which is a VectorVest secret weapon, in fact. Uh, we call it the market climate. And it's based on earnings, interest rates, and inflation. And he's been uh, working on this model uh, for the last 30 years. And uh, in that model, uh, it also says that we are still in a uh, bull market, a mature bull market. And interestingly enough on Vectorvest, must, if you actually go back, uh, on Vectorvest you can go back for the last 20 years, but if you go back uh, to the time slightly before the great crisis in 2007-2008, uh, Dr. Lido's market climate model was telling everybody to get out of the market. Right. Uh, so, and anybody can go back and read those essays that he does every yep. weekend. Yeah. OK, well, let's talk about a few um, stocks in the portfolio, suggested ideas. Let's kick off with the first one, JD Sports. Um, headline here. Well, JD Sports is undervalued, growing earnings strongly. Uh, it, uh, I, I was in the share, and pretty much every VectorVest customer was in the share for a very long time. And then it broke down the page uh, and uh, I went uh, sideways, and it's now broken up. I bought into the share again around four pounds and I would expect it to go much higher. It's sitting on an old high, and if we can get through that old high, through that overhead resistance, then I think the share can go a very long way. Clearly, they're uh, uh, starting in the US, and there's always a lot of ambiguity about British companies moving into the competitive American market. So if they can crack that, uh, then I think there's an awful lot of upside for JD Sports. Understood. Yeah. Let's move on to plus 500, the doling of the spread betting world. Well, yes. Uh, again, uh, the green line above the price is our valuation. That's moving away from the price, in fact. 
uh, the uh, blue uh, chart below the price is earnings per share growth, which is rising. Uh, the share has gone sideways in a rectangular continuation pattern and has just broken out of that pattern a day or two. And uh, I would expect if the general market breaks up that that's going to break up strongly with it. It's a position that I've hold for a very long time myself. Understood. Bilby. Now, I've got to confess I know nothing about this company. Well, uh, Bilby I put in. It's a small uh, uh, construction uh, equipment company and I put that in as an example of how Victorvest finds these small little companies that are undervalued that are growing earnings aggressively. I put it into the Victorvest blog uh, I think last weekend. Uh, it's vectorvest.co.uk forward slash blog I think and uh, it's broken up uh, out of uh, an inverted head and shoulders reversal uh, and uh, looks to me as if the share price can double from here. Wow. Okay, so let's move on to CAS. Well, CAS is a turnaround situation, and currently on Victorvest on a sell recommendation. And that's because, uh, as you know, the copper price fell out of bed a couple of weeks ago. Uh, my sums tell me that there's another leg up in the copper price. Right. So I'm looking at CAS as a turnaround situation. Uh, I put, for the Fibonacci people, I put on a... Uh, uh, Fib retracement and it's pulled back and found support at a 78% retracement which is I think the most important Fib level these days. Um, it's made a little double bottom at that which, which tells is me bullish that, in theory. Yeah, it tells me that somebody's accumulating it there and normally it's uh, fairly capable people who are accumulating after a big pullback. Yep. Uh, retail players tend to buy as breakouts, whereas the professionals tend to buy on pullbacks. So it's got a lot of work to do yet, but if the copper price can stabilize and move up the page, then I think there's a tremendous opportunity in CAS. Understood. And let's just wrap up with the, um, your details. Well, uh, you can find me at vectorvest.co.uk, uh, and uh, I do a blog. It's updated three or four times a week, uh, and we have lots and lots of webcasts and seminars coming up. Uh, uh, and if you go to the website, you'll find the details of them all. On that note, David, have a warm weekend. Thank you, Moose.